All right, guys, we are at uh, yet another Walmart here in San Antonio, and we're gonna go into their camping, hunting, and survival section and see what they got in stock this week. Seems to bode well for this Walmart because there's tree stands and hunting feeds, so looks like we're in the right place. All right, so we are in the camping, hunting, and survival section. Let's see what they got. So this is the coolest and the weirdest thing I've seen at a Walmart. But um, 300 lumen flashlight, but it's a bad light. Now I've seen something very similar to it on YouTube, but not from Ozark Trail and not at Walmart. This has got to be one of the best deals I think I've seen. You get some headlamps, some pin lights, and some normal throwaway kind of um, EDC lights. But you get the batteries included, and it's only 12 bucks or 13 bucks. But for that pack, that's awesome. Along the lines of really cheap throwaway flashlights, it's a $1 fucking headlamp from Mozart Trail. Three LED. One freaking dollar. For those of you that are in a very high humidity, very wet environment where mosquitoes and nasty bugs are a thing, the no seam head net is very helpful. But this is the most beautiful part. It's a dollar fifty. So if you're in a situation that you need to get shelter quick and you're maybe you're not even good at making shelter, this is a survival reflective tent, and especially in cold or windy conditions, will help keep you warm. What I like about this, check this out. So it's A74, but if you were to combine that with the Survival Blanket 2.0 for 1176, it's a lot more thicker material, very, very durable. It's complete all weather protection, so for sub 20 bucks, you can give yourself an emergency tent and a good blanket that'll keep you in a pinch. This has got to be the absolute best deal I have seen. It is a camp kitchen, light and portable cooking, but it also comes with eight cubes. Here's the kicker. $4.86. I found this at Target a while back and this is, was a good deal I thought at 14 bucks. No. 10 bucks. So it looks like for your outdoor needs, not only, at least here in San Antonio, uh, looks like Walmart it ends up being the place to go. This is a nice looking uh, kit. It's a six day uh, freeze dried food. Now, my experience has only been with Mountain House. I have no experience with Grizzly Ridge. But six days of food for 39 bucks doesn't seem like a bad idea if you are looking to have a personal or family um, kit. But a week full of food, 65 servings, that is not bad at all in my book. So I am hoping this end cap is Walmart's attempt to finally get rid of this damn Navaja. So I have it on a cap and I just can't get rid of them to save my life. So yeah, they're on sale. I'm hoping they disappear soon. Okay, so I've had a bunch of you screaming at me to pick this thing up. Against my better judgment, I am literally yelling at myself, telling me not to pick this up. Just because I don't think I'm gonna like this deal, but... However, this channel is not about me. It's about you. For anybody who spends any solid amount of time outdoors, this wound care kit is pretty, pretty, pretty handy. I would say it's very good for deep and painful uh, cuts, not necessarily huge ones. So it can give you some serious assistance while you're on your way to um, seek medical attention professionally. But it is nine bucks. It's a little on the slightly pricey end, but to not get completely jacked up, it doesn't seem unworth it to me at all. This is one of the most compact kits I've seen for first aid but it's a 57 piece kit, but it's, I mean, look, it's really, really, really small. And this is roughly the contents. Pretty basic stuff. Nothing that, you know, not a suture kit of any kind by any means, but it's definitely not a bad choice to have on you, especially when it's sub eight bucks. It's the Traverse from Outdoor Products here at Walmart, but it's 10 bucks for a pack. So if you're looking for a go bag or a get home bag, and you don't have a lot of money to spend, I recommend this one. It's got really thick straps on it. So far, I really like the construction of this. 
Okay, so I am officially in the absolute new mecca of Walmart knife selections. This is, and they've got crossbows, metal detectors. I mean, there's pretty much everything here. This one, this is an absolute jackpot. So this isn't necessarily a find or a steal, but this is the first time I've ever seen Spider Co. in a Walmart. That is crazy. They have the tenacious and the resilience. That's pretty dang cool. So this is the Rat One for 15 bucks. So I think I might just negate all other shopping for the rest of today and pick this up. So it seems to be my luck is trying to get the Rat 1 for $15, $50 knife, and it looks like they might not be in stock, so that's kind of... See, there it is right there, being looked at. Look at this massive wannabe Rambo knife for $7. What the hell is this? Mossy Oak. It's 448 stainless. Yeah, I would, wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot bowl. So this is the last man getting out of this Walmart. 74 cents, two hand warmers, 74 cents. So if you do the math on that, you will be able to get more than 10 for under five bucks, which is better than the deal from last time. So finding the little deals like that can save you a butt ton of money later. Also, because it's starting to get colder, they're starting to make the Zip Emergency Fire Starters a thing. So hopefully soon in the winter time, we are gonna start seeing the big boxes of 12. All right, everybody, so I am back for my excursion at Walmart. And let me say, this Walmart was an absolute pleasure to go to. I couldn't believe how much crap they had. However, I was going to get more stuff than this, but it was after midnight when we went shopping. Right now, at time of filming, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It is super, super late. <laughs> I'm, like, a little delirious right now. Anyway, so let's break this down. So I got these two items. They were a dollar. Pretty cool. It's a dollar headlamp. Can't hurt to try it out. It does work, has a only one single mode from me experimenting with it a few minutes ago, off camera. And this, pretty neat, it's one dollar. Plastic matchstick holder, looks like it's at least water resistant. 25 matches included and there's a flint bar on the bottom. I don't expect much from that because it's a dollar. Um, now, what I'm thinking about this right here is, not necessarily for the budget friendly or budget minded people, but let's say you've got kids. That'd be freaking awesome. So when you take them on their first, possibly second camping trip, they may not be old enough for you to want to invest hundreds of dollars of gear on their stuff. So like I showed off, the $10 backpack, that's their backpack to pack up all their own gear. <laughs> and you get them the dollar matchstick thing, you get them the headlamp, you get them like a nice little cheap little pocket knife they get to mess with and whittle on some wood during the day, teach them how to do some uh, safe way to do some um, wood curls for the fire in the evening when they do like their hot dogs and s'mores. And you teach them some really nice critical skills in a fun, positive environment. So when they need those skills later on, if and when an emergency ever arises, they've already acquired them because you did good parenting. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying if you don't do that, you're a bad parent. I'm saying it's, you know, makes sense. Now, this camp stove was way too good for me to pass up. I mean, it's a four bucks. I mean, the eight fuel cubes that comes with it really is what hooked me. There were other camp stoves in the very similar price point, but it was too hard not to go after this because the, the, the fuel cubes by itself can be like three bucks. So an $8 set for five bucks, I could not pass it up. Now, this bad boy, Life Gear. I've seen this thing, but it was $1.86, $1.86. I was like, okay, I got to give it a try. It's got an emergency whistle and fly, uh, five light modes. To me, this is the ultimate kind of um, budget-friendly help, help, help. I need help. I need help. I need help. Holy crap, help me. Um, it's got a flashlight, the, the glow and the flash, just the glow stick by itself. A signal, so it's just designed to be a visual auditory and visual signaling device. You can help you see in the dark a little bit. I don't expect a lot of good crazy things from this, but I will put it through the ringer and maybe give it a drop test. So let's say you're out in the woods and, oh no, my signaling device fell down a cliff. If it can handle a 10 foot, you know, 5, 10, 15 foot drop, whatever, it works. Now I know like I feel like I'm rushing this video, but kind of am. Now. With that said, I really hope you guys love this adventure that I had. Um, I was hoping I could bring you guys some more stuff. However, I just got word in the, in the email today that a bunch of awesome new sharp and pointy things are coming my way. And some really awesome EDC tools are on the way as well. So please stay tuned for that. Some epic content is coming. I just can't believe the cool stuff that I've been able to uh, 
rail in on the people that have contacted me. I feel extremely blessed to have all this stuff come my way. Thanks to everything you guys are doing to support my channel. With that said, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for liking this video, putting a really big thumbs up on this video. It really means a lot to me, showing me this is the kind of content you guys want to keep seeing. And definitely sharing this video out helps me further what I do and reach out to more people every single day and grow and continue to do what I do. Now, something you guys are going to start seeing in, from this video on, I'm going to post links in the description box below for any items that I am reviewing. I'm going to be putting Amazon links through... And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. It's an affiliate program that I'm working with. And if you guys see the items that I'm showcasing and you guys are like, wow, that's really cool. I want to go pick up that piece of gear. If you actually click on that link and you shop through that link to buy that particular item, it actually helps support our channel. But the good thing for you guys is it doesn't change y'all's prices in any way. The price that you would normally pay on Amazon is still there. It doesn't change anything, but yes, it does help support the program because it's kind of showing Amazon that you know they're they're getting feedback from us and people are enjoying the content that we're creating. I'm just trying to be level with you. I'm trying to support the channel and keep furthering what I'm doing. I'm not trying to peddle some crazy Patreon thing. Give me money for free. But hey, if you're getting some stuff and it's a passive way to give you to help to support the channel while getting things you already are really interested in and you love, why not? I don't see the harm in that at all. But with that said, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. I'm going to sleep. I'm out.